all here. You're all here to see. You're all here to see Abby Roberts. And I can see there that we're live on YouTube as well. So if you're watching through YouTube, hello, everybody. I can see some names here. We've got Abby. We've got Makeup by Isma. Um, loads of people joining. Amazing. Welcome, everybody. And please, please use the chat. So use the chat. I can see the chat. I've got it open. Abby also has it open. She's going to be joining very, very soon. Hello. Welcome. Oh, this is so nice. Do you know what? It's nice to have a bit of company. Been working from home all day. Nice to have a bit of company. So welcome. So obviously tonight is all about Look Fantastic and the student event that Look Fantastic are doing with Abby Roberts and also giving you some information about how to become a student ambassador for Look Fantastic and all the sort of goodies you can get and all like the perks of being a student you can get from Look Fantastic. And we'll talk about it throughout the evening. Hello from Yorkshire, love that, Aya, you're right. Hello from Portugal, amazing. Let's do that actually, where are you from? Where are you guys from? Netherlands, Poland, Liverpool, Ireland, Pakistan, Malaysia, Texas, UK, oh my goodness. Every, Devon, lovely everywhere amazing and don't forget guys this is open to all students so if you have any friends and they're a fan of abby they're a fan of makeup they want to be a student ambassador they love anything about beauty of course um james you look gorgeous oh, bless you thanks um of course please please share this share the link that you come in on and get as many people here as possible because tonight's gonna be quite a bit of fun okay um, and of course on YouTube as well, share that link, share that link. How old do you have to be to be a student? You just have to be a student. So if you're a student, um, if you're a student, then um, you can be a student ambassador. Your comments are making me laugh, guys, already. <laughs> James, drop the skincare routine. Okay, we'll do it. Um, does it matter where you're from? It does not. It doesn't matter where you're from at all. Don't worry. Um, so guys, shall we get Abby on? Shall we get Abby on? Do we want to see Abby? Yes, yeah, I think we do, don't we? We want to see Abby. So let's introduce Abby. Now, you guys all know who she is. Over 16 million followers on TikTok. This girl ain't messing about, you know. She's an absolute wizard with a makeup brush, but also, do you know what? She's, she's really nice. I spoke to her yesterday and I've spoken to her again today. She's just really, really nice. I've seen Abby before in a shopping centre. Fantastic, I'll pass on the message. <laughs> She's stunning, she is stunning. And um, we're scared to say hello. No, don't be scared to say hello. Please don't be scared, use those comments. Um, and also guys, just to say before we introduce Abby, there is gonna be a Q&A section. I can see some um, cues. I can see some questions coming through. Please use that function because very soon we are going to pose some questions to Abby and we're going to look at that section for those questions. Okay, so you've got your comments, your questions. Let's get Abby on. So, Abby, are you there? This is where Zoom hopefully works. Hi, guys. <laughs> hey, there she is. Hi, uh. <laughs> How are you? I'm all right. How are you? I'm oh, good. look. Can we just say very look? Have you have you got the comments open, Abby? I can see them um, just coming through in corner. There's Chat. so many there. Oh my yeah, god! I know, I know. Hi, people are calling you beautiful, queen, bestie. Oh, thanks, people guys. are saying, Hi, <laughs> yeah, people are saying the setup. I know, it's so professional. It took me like twenty minutes to get this backdrop up, but like finally did it. Fingers crossed, it doesn't fall on me during the masterclass, but like. I mean, it's oh content God, if it does. <laughs> like that, would, like babe, happening. that would be another viral video for you there. Do you know what I, I mean? Oh, that would be hilarious. Lucky. <laughs> um, it, it won't happen though. It won't. I, I, fingers crossed. Um, how's your day been? You've been all right. What have you got up to today? It's been Let good. It's actually been a busy one for me, which is quite, mm. oh, it's quite intense. Um, been running around Leeds all morning. It's my mum's birthday next week, so I've been trying to find her a birthday present, but like. Everywhere is either shut or sold out of everything ever. So oh. no success so far. But I did um, accidentally go into uh, Vivian Westwood and spend a bit too much money. <laughs> oh my God, what did you get? 
Tell me what you Do got. Do you know the the purple shoes that Naomi Campbell fell in it's on the road? Instagram. <laughs> oh my god, those killer heat. Did anyone see right. that, guys? On so Abby's cute. Instagram. I um, wanted them yeah. for so long, and they're always sold out. And they had one pair in the window, and they were my size. And I was like, "It's this it's a fate, sign. Mate. I have to get them." Fate. It's the, just fate. The saying, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna have to get those shoes. You know, got to just meant you. to be. <laughs> meant to be. Um, of course we're here. Um, you, not me. No one's asked about me. It's you. Um, you're <laughs> here because it's all about students and being a student ambassador for Look Fantastic and all of the perks that students can get from Look Fantastic. Um, so that there's a code that students can use, which is 20 student. You can use that and get 20% off loads of things on the website. But also there's a student ambassador program. And we'll put the link in the chat. So if anyone's interested in getting like first-hand tips, first-hand like um, hands-on of products, you can get um, commission on any content that you make. So you can make money from commission. From commission, yeah, you know about that. Like it's it's amazing that you can do that. Um, That's so sick. Yeah, so good. And, and like it helps because students. Like I remember being a student and I had no money. So the fact that you can yeah, make honestly, money. same. Like I remember like starting out doing makeup when I was still in high school and like struggling to buy products and stuff. So yeah, get your yeah. Go, get on it, guys. Get on it. So it's there, right? Over to you, Abby. What are we doing this evening? Okay, over to me. Um, we are doing, I'm sure you all saw the look and the promo pics and everything, the stories that I posted. It's the butterfly eyeliner, but it's kind of like a little e-girl twist, a bit more edgy, lots of black liner. Um, but keeping it colourful, I've got my green hoodie on, so I'm going to be all colour coordinated. But if you guys want to follow along at home, like, I'm encouraging you to do that and feel free to use like whatever colors you want. Um, I want to see everyone's different versions because you'll all be posting those on Instagram after as well. I hope using the hashtag um, so that we can find them. And yeah, I'm super excited to get started. Yeah, so guys, um, we, we'll leave it to a little bit later on, Abby, to let everyone know why they should join in. Mm -hmm. But just saying, definitely join in if you can guys take your laptop now go to wherever your makeup is and whatever you have around you that's similar to what abby's using use it because they're doing we're doing a competition essentially and you want to be you want to be a part of it because the prize is major in it really good yeah yeah and like we were saying don't feel pressured to like you have to have the same products use whatever yeah. you have um mm -hmm. just want to see your looks and yeah get okay. creative there amazing okay well you you go go for it go, go for it all right so i'm starting out with my foundation sure you all know how to do that so in the meantime you guys get put in your questions in comments and um we'll answer as many of those as we go along but the foundation that i am using today is the ordinary serum foundation if you've been watching me for a while you will know like this is my favorite foundation of all time I've literally been using it for like four years and everyone always comments like you're not sick of it yet but <laughs> I'm absolutely not it's amazing it's um more of a lighter coverage um but I quite like something that's a bit of a lighter coverage and then I go in with a heavier concealer like just on spots and stuff where I need it so it doesn't look too cakey or anything like that it's so um, when I tried this I was like shocked by how lightweight it was it's so nice because it, it feels like more like a skincare product because the ordinary yeah. are like a skincare company right yeah. um but yeah i love that all of their skin stuff it's great yeah so this is like a hybrid of the two it feels like a makeup a skincare product but you're getting that coverage of foundation so amazing. exactly yeah and i have like quite dry skin as well so i feel like it is super hydrating yeah. i really like it what shade do you in that abby i <laughs> i'm the lightest shade <laughs> 1.0 and yeah, okay. I couldn't even get any paler. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, I swear, I'm always like the first one to buy the lightest shade whenever I'm like buying it from any brand. And um, I bought this foundation that I was trying out because I saw it like went viral on TikTok the other week. And I was like, oh, of course I'm going to be light shade. Bought it. It was literally white. I was like, was it like <laughs> I was like, oh, maybe I'll consider <laughs> <laughs> love it love it 
Um, shall we get some questions? Because I'm it. just having a look at the questions um, while you're just doing your base and you're just blending. Yeah. Um, someone said, um, oh, so this is Laureen Rays said, at what age did you start doing makeup? Gosh, right, actually doing makeup and like posting it online. I've been doing it since I was 11, which if you've like watched my YouTube or been watching for a while, you'll probably know that like my first YouTube video I actually posted when I was 11 doing Charlotte's makeup. Um, yeah. But like ever, I can't even think of a time when I didn't have a makeup brush in my hands. Like I'm sure a little Abby was running around with one at some point. Oh, I, love that. <laughs> I love that though. Like it was proper I always meant to be, right? Always, yeah. I was always like the designated makeup artist when it came to like Halloween and everything. My whole family was like, "He's a remix." So yeah, I, I would always like get into doing creative makeup through like Halloween and stuff as well. Um, but yeah, I was always like dressing up as Disney princesses and everything when I was younger. <laughs> oh my god, I love it! I love it because that's kind of like it's almost innate to you then. You've just done it for so long. Exactly. Yeah, it's like people always ask like, "How do you get into it?" It's like you shouldn't feel pressured to start like everyone has to start from somewhere and I let me tell you I was terrible terrible well, yeah. when I first started like if you watch that first YouTube video you'll see just how, <laughs> how as soon as we log off here that's what I'm gonna be doing <laughs> <laughs> I so many views I'm like uh oh, that many people did not need to see fetus abuse <laughs> <laughs> um similar lines um Danielle said um, what made you pursue makeup? What, was it just that it was like an innate thing? I mean, I was always such like an artistic kid outside of makeup as well. Like did art all through school and that like, was my biggest hobby growing up. I was just always like drawing and everything. So it kind of just came a bit naturally when I was just like, um, I'll just draw on my face instead. Um, yeah, I love that. Oh my God, amazing. But you know, I, I, I guess like everyone, I used to watch like all the beauty gurus like, Nikki yeah. tutorials back in the day Jacqueline yeah. Hill mm -hmm. loved a bit of her as well yeah um someone we've got a question from YouTube now so Prisha or Prisha sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong it's a lovely name um has asked any advice on how to grow and stay within your niche I fear that I've got a small following because of my birthmark but I'd love to continue to grow but not sure how Mm. I think um you shouldn't like compare yourself to other people's content right just do what you are passionate about doing and like it will definitely show through in your content if you're enjoying it like I'm sure the people at home who are watching it are gonna enjoy it as well yeah. um so yeah I just wouldn't like restrict yourself to doing one particular type of content if you're not enjoying it um branch out try different things it's, it's all just like experimenting to find your style and everything like I have gone through so many different phases and styles of the makeup that I do um so yeah I just like wouldn't feel pressure to like I used to do drag makeup like all the time and yeah. then before that it was like super glam and then got into the creative stuff a bit later on but now I just like do whatever is fun to be honest and um, what's that you're putting on now this is Anastasia Beverly Hills translucent powder it's my favorite powder right now. Um, absolutely loving it. Um, I've gone through like so many tubs of the big one, but this is just the travel size one, which is super handy because I'm always like on the move. So yeah, yeah, I love this powder. Um, so um, Emily Moores has said, "How do you find inspiration for looks?" Good question. <sighs> it's difficult because I feel like, as a creative person, I just kind of get inspired from everything. There's not like a specific place that I go to. Um, although I would say that TikTok, like in recent years, has been super helpful. There's always like new trends coming up like every day. And it's always such fun stuff as well. It's never too serious. So I'm always like, oh my God, I want to try this like crazy contour thing that's going on right now. Yeah, I, I think TikTok is probably like my number one place if I had to name it. Yeah. So what's this now? What are you putting on now? This is the Kevin Aquan um, sculpting powder in the shade medium. Um, been using this for like two years. I tend to have like my products that I love and like go to all the time and they don't really change. So my base products are definitely those kinds of ones. Um, so yeah, Kevin Aquan sculpting powder. 
my friend who actually is Iggy Azalea's makeup artist introduced me oh, to this. Oh, she's you. Go on, babe. <laughs> Just a little name drop in there. <laughs> Iggy who? But yeah, he does like a lot of celebrity makeup and um, uses this on all his clients. He showed me and I've like never switched since. So. That's a bit of me that, you know. That's so what, sorry? That's a bit of me that. A bit of you. Yeah, <laughs> I, I like a little bit of... Sculpting. Yeah. There's all those tree ones. Yeah, that looks really good. It looks really natural. Yeah, especially like being so fair skinned, it's kind of hard yeah. to find a contour. Sometimes it's not too orange on me, and this one is super cool turn, so it's like really nice for that. Um, so Angel Chan says, How do you come up with your looks? Um, the process I think is always different depending on the look. Um, the more like intense, crazy stuff, if I need to plan it out a bit more, I will um I will like draw it out fully on a face chart. I have like a sketch of my face outline and I'll like take that up on my iPad and um, sketch on it in Procreate is the app that I use. Um, just so What's I can kind of visualize how I want it on my face. What's that called? Procreate. It's like Procreate. an artist's like drawing app. I used to use it all the time in school when I was like doing art and stuff. But um, yeah, it's, it's nice. a great app for my class. I would like totally recommend it if you're into creative looks. Amazing. People are saying that they use that. So some people in the comments saying that they use the app. So that's great. If you haven't got yeah. that, that's really good. Um, so there's 340 people here now watching. Amazing. Shall we, shall we do a bit of a giveaway? <gasps> Let's do it. Guys, shall we do a bit of a giveaway? So this giveaway is, let me just check the giveaway. <laughs> yeah, people want, okay, <laughs> people want a giveaway. People are on it. Amazing, good. It's good to see. Go on, James. Yeah, we're doing it. So <laughs> this giveaway is a way giveaway and it's a, a value of £200. And all we need to know is an embarrassing story. So keep, keep it clean, guys. <laughs> I've been a student, you know what I mean? But <laughs> we want, in the comments, put your most embarrassing story. And, oh my god! And I'm going to read some out. And I'm kind of going to go off Abby's reaction. And if <laughs> Abby laughs, like hardcore laughs, or like maybe for, I, I quite like the fact that you'll be like, oh my God, I don't know how to react to that. <laughs> and you're, Dude, I'm you're scared, gonna, but I'm excited for this. I want to hear everyone's yeah, story. <laughs> yeah, you're going yeah, to win 200 pound worth of when? So, um, so Megs has brought, I had to dress up as a clown for my school nativity. Fantastic. Um, this sounds like a regular day for me. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> my friend did my, this is Jess, my friend did my makeup, my eyebrow makeup terribly at lunchtime at school and I had to go back into class with wonky eyebrows. Never oh God, got. I've done that before. As well. <laughs> um, I walked into the wrong class once and had to walk out halfway through with everyone staring. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Okay, um, so this one, this is from Lucy. This is um, going to be a good one. <laughs> no, I, this makes me laugh because I've got childish sense of humour. Uh. Lucy, Lucy Home, Hume, Hume, by the way, um, just to say, just to embarrass you that little bit more, Lucy, um, <laughs> it says, me and my friend were playing Monopoly and it was so warm, we were laughing and I farted mid-laugh, worst thing ever. <laughs> oh, my God. No. Babe, Lucy. Are, Lucy. are you good? Are you good after that? <laughs> Do you know what? Well done for sharing that. I tell you what, Lucy, you're going to get the way £200 bundle giveaway. So yeah, we have to give it to her for that one. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. So can you DM look fantastic on Instagram um, and they were, they'll sort it out for you? Um, yeah, Lucy, so I mean, well, well done for sharing that. Well done for sharing that. Yeah, people are putting, oh my God, has it? Oh my God. <laughs> Good one. So, sorry, update us on the look. What have you, what have you, you doing? Um, so, while we've been chatting, I've just been putting on my highlighter, which is the Illamasqua Beyond Powder highlighter. It's kind of just an iridescent, goldy, pearly highlight. 
I kind of like this one because it works on so many different skin tones. Right. Um, like if um, Ooh. if oh she's back. If, sorry, you went off. Sorry, my it? friend was just FaceTiming me. Benji, go away. Um, oh, Benji, <laughs> listen, we have got our friend. It's Come interrupting on. my masterclass. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, it's a iridescent color. Works on every skin tone. So it's so like sheer, I guess. Yeah. Um, but yeah, super pretty. Um, I love these highlighters a lot. Amazing. Um, so just going back, <laughs> Ruby's put Benji feature. <laughs> um, well, everyone's uh, asking for Benji to come on. <laughs> where are you, Benji? Come on, open invite. <laughs> <laughs> um, so people are asking. So let's just have a look at some questions because a lot of them are quite similar to what we've already asked. Um, mm. So let's just go down and have a look. Um, how do you make your skin look so untextured? Natasha's asked. The blurring filter. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh my god, the blurring filter and Paris on Instagram. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, the Paris filter. I live for that. Oh, um, nice. Honestly, yeah. Social media, Loki, it's, it's a bit of a lie. Um, <laughs> I've been having a bit of texture sometimes. I mean, it helps to have a good foundation as well, which I, I really like the ordinary one. You know, it's it's so thin that it doesn't like highlight any texture, but. Yeah. Yeah, the blurring filter is that girl. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm so, like, you're honest. I absolutely love it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> At least you're not I can't going, lie to you guys. I've yeah. got a 16-step um, skincare routine. No, no, it's just the blurring filter, babe. That's what it is. <laughs> no, I keep my skincare routine, like, pretty simple. Um, I, like, moisturise before coming on here already, which is the CeraVe moisturiser. Thank you, skincare by Hiram, um, for hooking me up on that one. But um, I, also, I don't know. I keep you, it pretty simple. Have you got this? The La Roche Posay. I have it, but I think I lost it. <gasps> I lost it. So they they do it and look fantastic. You need to, guys. Has anyone got this? It's so good. Yeah, that SPF is amazing. It is so good. Yeah, really? I have to admit, like I probably should use SPF more often than I do. <laughs> Right. Oh, so right. I know that's Abby. like the worst thing you can do, right? But right, Abby, we're stopping this whole thing. Ugh. You need this to use an intervention. <laughs> you, you've got to do it. You've got to use it. Uh, I that, really do. Challenge. I'm like, because I'm in the house all the time and I don't go out. I'm like, do I need it? But I know they say like the light comes through the windows and everything. So I, mm, yeah, it's an intervention. I need to get on it. Um. So what's that concealer you're using? Sorry. Oh, this is the Kevin Aquan again. Um, this is their Sensual Skin Enhancer. I got into this concealer through watching like Miss Fame, the drag queen, like all her yeah, YouTube yeah, tutorials yeah. back in the day. Um, and she used to obsess over this because it is a super, super high mm -hmm. coverage concealer. So um, I'm just using that as my primer today on my eyes, prepping for eyeshadow. So we're going to be getting on to that in just a second, which and is, it is the fun part. Super, so. It's super pigmented, that one, isn't it? It is hella pigmented. As um, you can see, it's like super thick. Yeah. <laughs> she thick. Thick, she thick, thick, thick. Um, <laughs> just to mention some um, offers for students while you're cracking on. There is 20% off Urban Decay, um, Cordially, 3 in A, Nux, First Aid Beauty. And for everyone, there's up to 30% wide so, yeah let's shop guys exactly I mean? so if you have had your eye on anything on a fantastic now is the time and of course there is a code 20 student that you can use and if you if you like those of you that are just joining we've got some new people in hi welcome i'm your host tonight abby is here she's talking us through um a very a very classic abby look like i feel like we look at that and think of you this mm, month a little creative um, one <laughs> you know what I mean um and just to say look fantastic have now got their student ambassadorships open so if you fancy yourself as a skincare lover makeup lover hair care lover all of the above you there should be a link going into the comments very soon and you can you can um what you call it apply god words you can apply to to become one and you basically get a 20 percent of code that you can share that you can also use you get first hand dibs on products you get um also this is listen to this abby this is really good What's so 
So this, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. So, I'll tell you. so this, um, they basically have, if you become a student ambassador, you basically get career help from the Hook Group. And it, it basically bodes well if you find, if you think that you want to work at the Hook Group at some point, um, it bodes well that you, you're a student ambassador at a student level. Um, oh, that's and they, amazing. Yeah, they have like loads of career help. And like, I wish that I knew about that when I was a student because like the Hook Group are, are huge, obviously, and look fantastic as such an amazing brand. But I wish that I knew about that when I was a student. So that's something to remember as well, guys. Um, yeah, sorry, crack on. Amazing. Just a bit of admin, babe. Go on. No, love it. And like we were saying as well, like all of the products that I am using in this tutorial, you can get all of them from Look Fantastic. So yes. if you do want to check out any of the ones that I'm using today, there you go. Get your discounts. <laughs> get your discounts. Um, so the products that I'm moving on to now, we're going on to eyes, all the colourful stuff. And the palette that I'm using is MAC um, Art Library. So, you know, I love a bit of colour. Got some fun colours here today. I'm going to be using oh the God. green and the gold um, just to add a little bit of sparkle to that as well. Um, the great thing about this look is you don't have to blend really at all so if you're a beginner at makeup you should be able to master this no problem um so I, the first color i'm going in with is this green right here which actually kind of a perfect match right with hey, my she's planned it she's planned it it's almost like i thought of this you know I mean? <laughs> um so taking that on um just a flat brush you don't need like a blending brush anything like that so here we go and i am applying this wait let me just blend out my concealer again she's got a bit creasy um in the shape of the butterfly wing and um, you don't have to be super precise with this either because we're going to be like drawing on the eyeliner after anyways so don't worry about any of that we've got you covered um and I mean, you can do any kind of shape butterfly wing you want. I'm just going to do one that kind of comes out and upwards, just so it kind of snatches the eye a little bit as well. And I'm drawing like above my crease so that you'll be able to see that when my eye is open. Like, I think that having your eye open while you're like drawing this is quite helpful just to see where you need a position. That's so pigmented, isn't it? It is. It's hard to find good greens, I feel like, as well, but this one is really cute. I'm obsessed with your voice, you know. My voice. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Guys, oh, do, we, do we love Abby's voice? Let, let's know in the comments. I people am obsessed. always tell me that. I always get comments about it because people think I should do like ASMR or something. I don't know. Oh my God, you should do AS <laughs> ASMR. Uh, and as well like everyone on tiktok always thinks i'm american so they're always like so surprised when i've got like your oh, okay. accent. i thought you meant when they hear your voice i was gonna say <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah whenever i do like talking videos everyone's like what she's british and then they get even more confused when they hear the yorkshire accent because they don't even know they exist yeah. <laughs> doesn't sound like the queen what <laughs> tea and crumpets mm. <laughs> um, so, Abby, I think we do another giveaway. Another one? Oh, we're spoiling him. <laughs> I, think, I think we do another one. Um, you know what I mean? So this one That's is it. a Beauty Works giveaway. So for this one, all I want you to do is pick someone from the comments. The power is in your hands. Pick Ooh. someone from the comments. And God, they're going so fast. Wait, let me open these up. And they're going to get, they're going to get, just to give you, um, like an idea of what they're going to get, it's going to uh, be a bundle yeah. of 120 quid. Bro. 120 oh pounds. my God, these are going so fast. Ah, guys! I'm like scrolling and I'm getting cramp. <laughs> oh, okay. Three, two, one. Okay. Katie Brett. Katie, Katie Brett. Brett. You're the winner, baby. Katie Brett, I can see. I, oh my God, that's weird. I've stopped on Katie Brett. <laughs> B-R-E-T-T. -E it's a sign, um, yeah. It's a sign. So Katie, please um, DM 
look fantastic on Instagram to claim your prize. Congratulations, babe. Thank you. And also, guys, everyone that's um everyone that's like commenting and stuff, we have got a couple more giveaways, but also there's loads of discounts tonight, so everyone's a bit of a winner. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> So you're just, so are you just getting the creases out again of your Getting the creases out again, doing the same on my other eye. So Fantastic. Which eye happening. do you think is harder? Um, I would say my left eye because I'm right-handed. So it's like always an awkward angle when it's like oh, trying to yeah. do eyeliner. But I don't know. I'm, I kind of got used to it now. I always find it difficult to do it on other people though. I think that's so much harder because I'm really not used to doing that at all. But yeah. I know for some people who are like, make parties doing clients and stuff they find that much easier which is just yeah. strange to me well speaking of other people we have a special guest that's going to be joining <laughs> us and um just to see their progress of the look so like a lot of you tonight and um, we've got some of the look fantastic family that are also tuning in and going along with the tutorial so l james is going to be joining us and i kind of want to see i want to see what she's done do, yeah, do let's have a look how she's going yeah. along. So, Al, if you are there, please show us your camera, babes, and let's see how you're getting on. We need some lift holding music. So, let's just see. Um, I, c I don't know whether Al is, um, whether she's having some issues with the camera or whatever, but it's can fine. You, can you guys oh. hear me? We can hear you. I can Just... hear you. Hi, um, it, it says she can't start the video because the horse has stopped it. Oh, okay. Give us one second. They will see right. <laughs> Just give us one. How, how are you finding the tutorial though, Al? No, no, it's really good, yeah. I'm loving oh, it. Good. Yeah, I can't wait to see how you're getting on. <laughs> I mean, this is suspense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Making it worse for myself. <laughs> you know what I mean? So have you gone for a green as well? Um, no, I've actually gone for a different colour, um, just to like spice it up a little bit. I've gone for pink, Cute. just because that vibrant pink was just speaking to me. Oh, some inspiration <laughs> back here. <laughs> Hi. Can we Hi. welcome Al in the comments, everybody? Oh, so cute. I love the shape we've got going on. Yeah, like, so like a little bit winged out. Mm, love it oh my god amazing so you've like you've like done that so quickly <laughs> got brows on and everything yeah uh, well I did my brows before because brows alone take a good 15 minute for me so I thought I'll just be a little bit prepared. oh really <laughs> see I'm like I already have like quite thick brows so when I do them I'm just like mm, just brow mascara <laughs> <I'll do> yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> I literally lay mine like flat to my head as if I'm going to cover them. I like, like that mm. laminated effect, you know, like where it's like proper stuck down. So, yeah. What products do you use for that? Um, I even use Per Soap. I've used that for absolutely ages. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, or I really like the Be Perfect one. It's more like rather than just whipping out a bar of soap if I'm doing it like on tutorials and stuff, like it's easier because it's in a little tin. But yeah, to be honest. Amazing. Yeah. Everyone in the comments are saying, mm. Um, so Meg has just said, can we talk about Al's hair? Oh. I mean, yeah, your hair right? looks, really looks so good. It's not mine. <laughs> it's, a, <laughs> it's a clipping pony, I'm afraid. I wish it was mine, but... <laughs> oh my God, I can relate. My hair is so thin from like bleach. <laughs> oh, mine is. That's why I have to wear these. Honestly, it stops about them. <laughs> I need to get my hands on some. <laughs> so... Yeah, well, I'm receding, so it's fine. We're in it all together. Make <laughs> <laughs> it till you make it. Do you know what You're I mean? Wig. Think, babe. Um, you look stunning, Al. Everyone's saying you 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 look really stunning. Um, oh. Yeah, and also your base looks amazing. Did you it use the same product? Yeah. Did I use what? Sorry. The same product. Yeah, so I used the the Kevin Aquan concealer. Oh my god, that is my ride or die. Like if I have it's any perfect. kind of like spots or redness or anything, it just it's almost like the smoothing filter. Like it's dead good. Um, but I'm the same. I use quite a light foundation, but I go in quite heavy. Like my concealer comes like quite under here, and then. But yeah, and I've got a lot of lights as well. Don't let it fool you. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh yeah, Beth and Bethan's just put in the comments. If you don't have a green, try blending blue and yellow together. 
yeah exactly like if you're missing a certain color from today like you can always mix some to make that yeah. you know get creative well, also <laughs> it looks it looks wicked in a total different color as well as we can see with our exactly yeah. yeah i'm gonna keep it pretty simple as well and i'm just using like literally two shades of eyeshadow so anyone who has a couple of shades of eyeshadow can follow along with this um you don't need like a bunch of different colors or blending techniques um today so like the next one i'm gonna go in with is the gold like i mentioned earlier just to like add a little bit of shimmer and i like to just like apply this with my finger as well i feel like i get like a lot more coverage with shimmers when i do it with my finger amazing well thank you so much al for coming on and joining us tonight oh, sorry about the the technical issue we are live <laughs> we're live um but thank you babe you look stunning and um love that color everyone loves that color in the comments so thank you thank you so much al oh thanks can't wait to see you finished yes Yay. see you later babe bye <laughs> um yeah so there we go guys you so can sweet use... yeah so sweet so you've just put that pigment straight on your eye with a finger right straight with the finger um no like fancy techniques or anything and i'm just like as I get to the green, I just kind of like tap it over the green. So it creates a little bit of a gradient, but it's not super important with this look. It's more of a focus on the liner, which we will get on to very shortly. Um, some other questions. So if you didn't pursue makeup, this is Evie Shaw. If you didn't pursue makeup, what job do you think you would be doing? Oh, it, it's really difficult, but I think it would have to be like anything creative. Um, yeah. I, I just... I couldn't go a day without like creating something uh, to be honest right now I don't know if any of you guys know but like I am creating music so who knows perhaps like I, I would have gotten into that sooner I wish I would have started learning guitar way way sooner but um yeah mm. I'm early stages right now <laughs> oh my god everyone is so excited in the comments <laughs> so excited as am oh I do you know yeah. what do you know what it is though babe I feel like you're you're a proper force. Like you, you just crack on with things. You just get things done. Do you know what I mean? I do. And yeah. I'm. I mean, yeah. With like my music, I've only been doing it for the past year, just because I like my whole life literally dedicated to makeup and yeah. never gave a second to anything else. But I always loved music, and you know, every time I'm doing makeup, listening to music twenty four seven. So I definitely like had a bunch of inspiration to begin with, and we're just kind of like dying to get started on something new because I've been yeah. so used to just doing makeup for so many years so yeah super exciting amazing um um just to say to Katie who's just asked what do I tell them for winning the giveaway if you just dm look fantastic on instagram and just say that you won the beauty works giveaway and um, they'll know who you are they'll um they'll link you up with the prize um what hair color is next Noriman says Mm, you're not getting it out of me that easily <laughs> okay 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 is it a surprise mm, it's a bright color um I was debating doing like silver but I literally have like the silver toner and I was like no it's a bit boring so I'm gonna do um a another very bright color um which will probably happen next week so stay tuned <laughs> amazing um so Ruby's put the best foundation for dry skin um I have to say the ordinary one um like I said I have super dry skin and yeah. I really love that one because it's basically skincare and foundation in one yeah do you know what's a really good cream for dry skin what's that this one so this is the Aven recovery cream it's Aven oh. recovery cream and I think my sister have... uses that one actually yeah if you get like any dry patches or anything like that this is like a lifesaver like an absolute Amazing. lifesaver right so so what's the product that you're doing now we're on to the fun part which is the liner so i'm using nyx epic ink liner this is another one of those products that's like a go-to for me been using it for years refuse to use anything else kind of thing um it's just I feel like with a lot of pen liners they tend to dry out super quickly um which is like an issue when you're trying to do a liner it's like skipping everywhere but this yeah. one it never dries out on me it has a brush tip rather than like a, a sponge tip so you can get a really fine line as well okay. and yeah get your hands on this if you don't have a go-to liner like you will love it I promise 
I love that. So, so with obviously with your job, I assume you get a lot of products. Mm-hmm. Um, do you still? Never ending. Yeah, it's never. I can <laughs> fully imagine, um, and I can imagine it being somewhat overwhelming as well. And um, yeah. do you find yourself sticking to what you know? Because I know earlier on you were saying like I've used this foundation since coming out of the womb. <laughs> um, this is my foundation of choice. Um, do you ever stray and think, oh my god, well this new one I quite like, or do you stick to what you know? Um, I think with like certain products like base and liner, I tend to stick with what I know because um, that's something that's like if I'm trying out a new foundation for the first time and then I get like hella flashback and I'm like at an event, that's something that's um, not ideal. But like eyeshadows, um, colourful liners, paints, lipsticks, I switch up all the time because I feel like you can't really go wrong with those kinds of things. And it's always fun to like introduce new colors that way as well so yeah I switched those up a lot amazing um just to say as well um in the comments people are saying that they've just joined don't worry don't worry if you've just joined thank you for joining by the way really appreciate it um we're we're just having a chat over Abby doing some makeup Mm -hmm. it's been a really good evening so far but um thank you for joining don't don't worry that you've just that you've just joined in yeah um, we're on a fun bit now as well so done at yeah. a good time um yeah. right now I'm just creating a super long wing but keeping it pretty thin so you can still see a lot of the color coming through on the eye and I'm bringing that right out to the very end of the green and then I'm going to join a point from there and bring that just along where I place the green in a straight line about to the middle of my eye I would say this is so high pressure. I'm like, I'm going to have to hold my breath. Like, I can't talk. <laughs> yeah, on. We're, we're going to have silence while you do this. Oh, no. Dude, I feel like I'm messing up because it's like high oh, pressure. God, no, stop it. No, you're not. I was literally going to ask for a round of applause from the comments because that looks major. Oh, my God. I, I don't want to put you off. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, she said it. <laughs> and then, do you know what how so let's just discuss that because i know some people in the comments have just got look at all the claps yeah can we get more oh my god thanks, guys. That was pretty good pretty major that um just to say you know doing that doing that line yeah like, it is there any like a hack or um any sort of arm move I, I don't know like because I can imagine that's a pretty difficult part of the look mm-hmm. and um, apart from not breathing yeah um are there any <laughs> other tips that you would give to get it smooth um, I think the this is something I only really noticed that I do recently because someone pointed it out to me um but obviously eyeliner is a lot of practice right but I think for me I always like secure my elbow on like my yeah. desk like right now it's like firmly down and I like apply a lot of the force from this arm down through the table so rather than applying that force like to my face and then the eyeliner is like Whoa, all over the place you put most of the force through the table and then you can kind of just flick it lightly with this hand and yeah. it's not really taking a lot of strain into the eyeliner if that makes sense does that make sense I feel like I just like no no, no 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 that makes total that's exactly <laughs> what I was looking for because I thought yeah. there might be something because the way that you did it, obviously you've been doing it like you do it every day, essentially. Yeah. Um, the way you did it was so smooth, and I can imagine quite, quite a difficult part of the look. Um, people are saying I did it. Um, I learned that from you. Yeah, so that's good. Oh my god, amazing! So great tip. Someone said with a flick of the wrist. <laughs> yeah, it was actually something that like my music producer pointed out because when you're singing and you're trying to like hold a big note you do the same thing you like do something physical and it takes your mind off of like messing up vocally yeah so like your vocal muscles are not like spasming out and he was like yeah I bet you probably do the same thing with your eyeliner and I was like oh my god you're so right like I literally do that oh my god so maybe I might be a brilliant singer I just <laughs> you just weren't doing it right <laughs> well we're gonna blame it on that my tone deafness <laughs> We'll blame it on that. Um, can we get up close, please? Can you come oh, a little yeah. bit closer with your eye? Just so people, mm-hmm. oh my God, that looks stunning. Thanks. 
I feel like this is a really weird angle. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. It's fine. That's so pretty. Yeah, it is. Thank you wow. Guys. And um, okay, so that's like it for the outline. And then just underneath here, I'm going to bring like a couple of lines coming down into the crease um, just so it looks like that butterfly wing pattern. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be like crazy precise in like copying exactly what I'm doing. Just do what you think looks right, I guess. Um, I'm just going to do a couple. Oh my god. There we go. That looks just great. Start lines. Um and then I'm just like rounding those out as well. Yeah. Yeah. So what what are you doing here, sorry? Oh you so you're rounding it's like the rounding thing. the edges. Okay. Yeah, just yeah. so it looks a bit more like the butterfly pattern. Samira so said, um, we're all watching this and we're not breathing. So <laughs> I'm glad we're all in this together. <laughs> oh, someone's just a James jaw drop. I've got them like n nothing hides on my face, oh, so I think yeah. then I was probably just like, <laughs> "Oh my god!" Okay, that looks... and that's what I'm looking like so far. But I just kept it pretty simple, like not drawing the full pattern or anything. That and looks, on... how good does that look? That looks looks so nice. Thanks, guys. And on my bottom, um, I'm just gonna do something a bit more simple. So I'm just gonna like connect here and the other side. It's all right if you mess up as well. Like I think people can get afraid of messing up, but if you mess up, just clean it up with like a little bit of concealer. Um, I I pretty much do that every time I do eyeliner to be honest, so I wouldn't worry. Okay, so you, you would just take a bit of that Kevin Aquan? Yeah, I would take a bit. Up. Take a bit of that on like a flat brush so you've got a good like clean edge on your brush yeah. and just take it right next to the black where you want to clean clean that up. Teresa's just said I messed up my eyeliner. There we go. I was just giving you a tip. Don't worry, it's fine. It's We're fine. good. <laughs> We're fine. Um so look fantastic. That looks great. That looks so good, you know. <laughs> Thanks. Oh my god. Um so look fantastic, have just leaked the big competition that we've got. So guys, ev anyone that is um, going along with Abby right now in whatever way that you are, so it might look a lot like Abby's, it might look somewhat different, do not worry. Um, as long as you're being creative and as long as you're having fun, it's fine. Um, if you post your looks on Instagram and tag look fantastic and Abby, and use the hashtag LFXAbby, there's a huge prize that you could win. That prize, we're gonna tell you what the prize is here, but it won't be announced until 9 p.m. So don't worry if you need a little bit more time, but please, please, please just be creative and have fun with it. And we wanna see them. So post them on Instagram, tag look fantastic and Abby, and use the hashtag LFXAbby. <laughs> I'm so excited to see everyone's looks. I actually, it's like my favourite part when people recreate my looks. It's so much fun. And, and your Abby's actually judging them, guys. It, yeah, it's, I will be you say judge. You ain't, you, you're not going to be like Simon Cowell, are you? You just... No, you're I'm a it. nice judge. Yeah. More of a Louis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or a Cheryl. <laughs> or, yeah, maybe Cheryl, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, someone's saying they love your fashion set. Oh my gosh, thank you. How do you get inspiration for your outfits? Um, for my Where outfits, do you get inspiration from? Um, I don't know, because like people always ask me like what is my aesthetic? And I never like try and stick to an aesthetic or one particular box. Um, like I'm always changing up my style. Um, because I I'm like, what's the point in sticking to one thing forever? I, I get bored of things too quickly, so I, I change that up a lot. Um my inspiration I mean I love Billie Eilish not gonna lie um it's very she... Billie Eilish what what you've got <laughs> now I didn't want to say but I get compared to Billie a lot and I'm like no I'm Abby I have my own <laughs> I do things differently <laughs> my name's not Billie it's Abby <laughs> <laughs> no but, but I, I 
She's but, like you. She's laid back, isn't she? And she's just yeah. very much herself and unapologetic. Because I'm a bit of a tomboy, not going to lie. Like, I'm not super, super glam and airbrushed and everything. So kind of street style stuff I like a lot. Um, I wouldn't say punk because if I say I'm, I'm, I definitely would not class myself as punk, but like I love the punk aesthetic and like darker elements of that. Yeah. Um, yeah, everything. I don't know. That's such a difficult question, man. It is a difficult question, but I, I think you smashed it there to be fair, you know. Oh, thanks. I appreciate it. Someone's just put, um, who was that? Chantal. I've got a mug mask on and I've got college work to do. Don't worry. Do not <laughs> worry. It's absolutely fine. But Chantal, if you've got a mud mask on and you like skincare, please, please um, apply to be a student ambassador. The, the link is in the comments. Apply to be a student ambassador. And then... Um, and yeah, you can, you can get your hands on some skincare and you can get a little link and, stuff and a code. Um, so definitely do that. We're, we're, oh, just on that other eye. <laughs> I love can breathe love. again. So here's a question. How do you get it symmetrical? Um, I think I, I like to like look at myself straight on in the mirror. Um, mm. Just And I, I do a lot of checking, like going back and forth and back and forth. And I would say, like, obviously, a lot of it is practice and um, you kind of get used to it the more, like, the more you do it. Um, I don't know. If you mess up, it's not a big of a deal. Just, like, yeah. fix it with concealer. But, yeah, I look at myself straight on. And when I'm drawing the line, I keep my eyes open so I can see what it's going to look like when my eye is open. Um, yeah. So I think if you're, like, drawing it with it closed, like, this probably looks a bit wobbly when it's closed, but... Nobody's going to see me with my eyes closed, so. There we go. I mean, great. <laughs> um, anonymous attendee. How very... Um, Ooh, yeah. Spooky. Spooky, that's it. Spooky. <laughs> um, how many piercings do you have? Oh, okay. I only have my ears pierced, but quite a bit. <laughs> um, so that's 16, two, three. then. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven right now, but I want more. I definitely want more. Yeah. Yeah. Just in the ears. Mm, I think so. Because if I got any face piercings, it would just like get in the way of me doing makeup, I think. Yeah. Mm. Like, like removing it would be the issue. Like removing my makeup, it would all like, I don't want to think about it. <laughs> get stuck yeah. on the piercing. So you're just going in with those three lines again, like the other eye. Yeah. I'm just trying to match it up but like even if it isn't totally symmetrical it's not like the end of the world I don't think anyone's going to be looking at your eyes that closely yeah um okay so a lot of people are asking for more time for the competition um for the 9 p.m cutoff so what we're going to do if it's okay with you Abby is yeah. give them all day tomorrow and tomorrow night at 8 p.m., we will announce the winner. Would we like that, guys, in the comments? Let us know if you would prefer that. So everyone get a, gets a chance. But you've got to absolutely smash it, guys. We want full effort. Whatever it is that you do, it's got to be full effort and you've got to enjoy it. Is that all right with you, Abby? That's perfect, yeah. Amazing. So it gives you a little bit more time, guys. So tomorrow night at... 8 p.m. That's your cutoff. We aren't going to push it any further. You've got another day out of it. <laughs> tomorrow night. Um, we're going to do another giveaway. Ooh, another this one. Is a good one. This is a brand that I know that you love. So this is a NYX giveaway. Oh, I think I froze Oh, my God, yes. Oh, did, I, did you hear that? Yeah, I heard Did you hear that? that? Sorry, yeah. I thought I froze. No. Imagine, this is a... <laughs> Does that <laughs> give away? Oh my god, my favorite brand. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love that. Um, so this is the next giveaway, and this is a it's a pretty big one. This is five hundred pounds oh worth god. of Nicks. Yeah, pretty good. So all that you need to do, guys, to enter this competition, if you get going with it now, Abby can have a scroll through when she's finished the look. You have got to name this look. So the look that Abby's doing right now, you have got to name the look in the comments. Abby can have a scroll through and pick one that she likes. Um, 
yeah so get going if you want get to get creative with it guys get creative the best one <laughs> best one yeah yeah okay cute I think I can breathe again I'm finally done with like my eyeliner so <laughs> here is how we're looking I, so I don't think the bottom is totally symmetrical but it's artistic interpretation so there we go there we go that's how how I do the butterfly liner it is pretty simple when you break it down like step by step just putting your liner in places you wouldn't maybe normally put it um over the over a bit of eyeshadow there we go I some of these are amazing um there's there's a lot yeah there's a lot <laughs> oh I, I can see them coming in dude there's yeah. so many there's quite a lot how am I gonna <laughs> pick <laughs> what we might have to do is ask people to stop in a minute and then you can just have a scroll <laughs> and then okay, we're gonna have okay. to do that because otherwise you're just never gonna get anywhere <laughs> oh god wait let me let me open up the chat so i can have a good look at these are you able to scroll all right <laughs> Whether I can open the chat is another question. Um, if you can't, we can do it in the Q and A. Yeah, we should probably do that because I think mine's like freezing and freaking out. So guys, we want all of these in the Q and A. Go, go, go! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh god! Oh god! Okay, that, that's a lot. Okay, we're, it's going up. We're on 500 entries now. Okay, um, so. I have to scroll right to the bottom. <laughs> yeah, scroll right to okay, the bottom. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, got him. Okay, oh, okay so I, found one, I found one, I found one. If there's one that really stands out, let us know and that person will win 500 pounds worth of mix. <laughs> I've got one. <laughs> You've got one. Okay, Charlotte O Makeup said um, butterfly lish, like butterfly eyelash. <laughs> oh my god, I love that! Butterfly lish. That made me laugh so much. <laughs> Are we going with, is it Charlotte? Charlotte O Makeup, yeah. Charlotte O Makeup, congratulations. Mm. 500 pounds worth of NYX. That it's was a creative to, one. It was a creative one. It, it was. It was a pretty good one. Well done, babe. So all you've got to do, just like everyone else that's won, um, drop, look fantastic, a DM on Instagram. Let them know that you won £500 worth of NYX. Amazing. And they'll sort it out for you. So it was Charlotte O Makeup who won. Oh, my heart. Thank she says my heart's racing. Thank oh. you so much. Oh, babe, don't worry. Amazing. Um, Amazing. Fantastic. Well done. So I'm just like getting ready to put my lashes on right now. Um, we're actually almost done with this look. Um, so these are Ardell Extension FX Decurl, which are like a foam mink lash. And what I actually did with these, I already cut them to like fit my eye off camera. And with the excess that you would usually trim off of like the outside, I stuck that back on the lash. So I have a bit more like volume on the outer edge and it's, a bit longer a bit more fanned out because I kind of I love wearing half lashes um and anything that's going to really accentuate the eye and lift it so just going to apply my glue and then we'll wait for that to go tacky um and some people are saying what glue do you use um it's a struggle because I'm allergic to eyelash glue <laughs> um so right now I'm just like trying out a bunch of different ones mm. um I yeah, it is, it's a struggle, um, but who knows, maybe one day I will find one that works for me. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Nice. I saw someone say, please don't die for us. It's worth it, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I actually ended up in A&E because of it one time. Wow. It was really bad. Wow. And my eyes swole up so bad from like this one eyelash glue um, that like, I couldn't see. <laughs> I couldn't open my eyes, ended up in hospital because of it. it was... And were they like, how did you do this? And you were like, Lash And I was like, it's eyelash glue. And they were like, just stop wearing it. And I was like, I'm in makeup artist. I can't yeah. Do that. yeah. Don't you follow me on TikTok? 
<laughs> Amazing. Um, and you can get these on Look Fantastic, right? Um, yeah, these lashes are just Ardell from Look Fantastic, yeah. Yeah, yeah. People, someone was asking, can you, where can you get them? Look Fantastic. Is there any, like, hack for putting lashes on? Would you say? Um, I think just, like, waiting until the glue is dry enough. I think that's a mistake that a lot of people make is putting it on when it's wet. Um, which, if you didn't know, can actually, like, irritate your eyes more if you put the glue on when it's wet. So if you do have, like, issues with glues, um, wait till it's more dry to apply it. And it'll also just, like, stop it from slipping about everywhere. Um, yeah, I'm just going to leave those to get tacky. Um, and while I'm doing that, I will pop on a little bit of mascara. Fantastic. So the mascara that I use, this is another one of like my OG products I've been using since I was 11. Um, the Falsies Volume Mascara. Uh, this is the waterproof one. The waterproof mascara of this it's the only one that will hold my lashes in a curl um, because my lashes are so straight naturally. Like, I don't know if you can really see oh, them, no. but um, I always do a lash curler and then pop this on to keep the curl in place. Um, cause the thing about like waterproof mascaras is they're oil based. So um, if a mascara is water based, it's just going to wet your lashes and make them straight again. But if it's oil based, it like helps to keep that curl. So. Oh my god, I didn't know that. That makes so much sense. <laughs> that makes so much sense. A little bit of trivia. <laughs> there we go, a bit of trivia for the pub quiz. Um, do you know what though? That that um mascara is like an OG, isn't it? It really is. It's been around for years and yeah. I I stopped using it for a few years and I was having problems with my lashes like falling straight all the time and I was like what is going on and then I remembered that oh my god there was that mascara I used to use when I was like 12 years old um and I started using it again and I just I, I don't know why I ever stopped it's, it's the best mascara yeah amazing sorry I'm just engrossed in watching you um, <laughs> so someone's just said again could you just repeat the name of the mascara please? uh Maybelline the Falsies Volume Express Waterproof that's name yeah fantastic um and just to say guys in the comments look fantastic are putting the um the link so that you can get 20 percent off everything that abby's using with the code masterclass <laughs> including the mascara it's great just getting my bottom lashes oh so my god guys, i just realized i forgot to put liner on like my inner corner i'm gonna go ahead and do that in a second because I always love doing that to like make a little point on the inner corner. Um, makes your eyes look all snatched, all feline. Um, mm -hmm. It's kind of like a TikTok trend that I got into recently. But um, yeah. yeah, just going to do that once I've got these lashes on. And I always use like a little lash tool to get them on. I don't know how people apply them with their bare hands, like straight up with their fingers. Um, I'm not yeah. that talented, so <laughs> I play with it. Um, Samira has just asked for the recreation do we have to do green or can we be creative um, I think hopefully you should have your eyeshadow on at this point <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah if you don't go for whatever colour you want um, be I'm creative. just wearing green yeah. yeah oh my god they're like a statement I love I a big you. lash yeah. I'm not going to lie Okay. That's eyelash number one and eye number two. And these are like the glue is almost fully dry at this point, so they have no problem sticking straight away. People are saying big lashes are everything. Absolutely. If my lashes are not like touching my eyebrows, I don't want them. <laughs> <laughs> They're not for me. Um, <laughs> someone's just said, how was it like the first time? being recognized in public oh um it's really surreal I, I can't even remember the first time oh my god okay I remember I remember I remember I used to go to drag shows all the time um like out in Leeds and I had snuck into a drag show when I was like 17 with like my cousin's fake ID <laughs> 
just to go and see the queens like I was so excited and um yeah I got recognized in the girls toilets at that drug show and she was like are you happy from TikTok and I was like it's me hell yeah I was so buzzing but it, it still catches me off guard every single time like when I was out in Leeds today I was ordering some food at this restaurant and my waitress like recognized me and she she's like are you the tiktok girl and i was like i am the tiktok girl oh my god i love that oh <laughs> i so imagine sweet. if imagine if um the girl in the toilet was like she's actually 17 she needs to leave <laughs> <laughs> oh no i'm glad she didn't like grasp me up <laughs> no. i yeah i'm the tiktok girl amazing <laughs> Oh, okay. I have a product I'm excited to show you guys. It's um, Lime Crime Freckle Pen. Um, I just got into it recently because I'm always looking for like new ways to do freckles. And um, this one makes things so, so easy. So it's just a little like felt tip pen. And I just dot this on like randomly. Don't even have to look. <laughs> oh my God. No, I dropped it. <laughs> And then you just throw it. And then you just throw it. That's like part of the technique, guys. Yeah, oh my God, that's <laughs> my hack. <laughs> but I, I tend to just like do more freckles around my nose and less as it goes out. Um, but yeah, freckles are pretty easy. People are loving lime crime. Lime crime is so underrated. I never hear anyone talk about them anymore. But... You know what? My sister used to use lime crime and she used to order it from the US. Like, oh, same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, like, I would have to, like, drop ship it to get it over here. Yeah, before you could get it here. And obviously now, um, there's there's so much choice and look fantastic. Um, it's great, but at the time, you couldn't. Can we yeah, have a close-up, please? Close-up. This is how we're looking so far. Oh, my God, you look stunning. Thank you. And I'm actually on to the last step, which is lips. Um, and another lime crime product. Um, I'm actually pretty new to this as well. Like I said, I switch up my lip products quite a bit. Um, I love a good brownie nude. That's like my go-to. Um, this is Lip Blaze um, Butter Gloss Thingy by Lime Crime. Lip Blaze. Lip Blaze. Why can I not say that? Lip Blaze. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And this is the colour Cali. Um, I'm just going to apply this on its own. Someone said, James, I'm disappointed you haven't got the butterfly winged eyeliner on. I know, you're not following along with me. <laughs> I actually said to Abby that I was going to, but guys, I would have made, such, go, I would have made such a mess <laughs> of it that everyone would have been like, well, it's not the best tutorial if James <laughs> looks like that, but that would be just me and my lack of talent. Um, I'm confident you could join along. Do you think? Mm-hmm. Okay, we'll do it one day. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll arrange it. <laughs> and I, like, always love a good overline as well, so I'm just overlining with the lipstick. Just on my cupid's bow. Yeah. So um, people are asking, how long does it take to take that makeup off? Good question. Uh, honestly, about five minutes. Like I use an oil-based makeup remover, so I just like put it on my face and then it's like, it's melted and I look like a melted Barbie doll, but like, <laughs> it's good. Um, so what is that? What's that product? Um, I don't remember the specific name because I switch it up all the time. Yeah, I do. Um, but as but long anything, as oil. anything oil based, yeah, as long as it's not like a water based product. Yeah. So, um, am I frozen? You're frozen. Um, I can hear am you. Am I though. frozen? Oh, oh okay. Am I, am I back? We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. Okay, good. Um, so yeah, just say if you if anyone wants like an oil based um if anyone wants an oil based makeup remover, the Inky List do a really good one. It's called the Oat Cleansing Balm, and you can get that on the. Oh my god! Yeah, I have tried that so one actually. Good. Yeah, I really like that. Yeah, it's so good. So good. Just takes it off so quickly rather than Doesn't scrubbing it? at your skin with like a makeup wipe or something, mm. which is also like not the most environmentally friendly. Um, but yeah. There we go. Oil based cleansers. And I've actually done just. You look amazing. 
How good does Abby look? You look stunning. Thank you. Shall I give you guys a close up? Please like, do. This is how we're looking. You look. I love it because it just isn't OTT. It's just like. Yeah, it, it's like a super. It's super quick. It's impressive, and like if people look at your makeup, they're gonna be like, "Damn, she spent a lot of time." But actually, it's super simple. Just a little bit yeah. extra eyeliner. Amazing. Well, um. There is another guest. We're going to get Al back on as well to just sort of have a have a little look at where she ended up and um, with her look. But we've got Elise as well. We're going to look at Elise's final look. Hopefully, she's done. Um, so Elise, oh, it's a Please unmute and let's see you. Let's um, see you look. Can I? Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! The blue. We've gone for an I all blue it. as usual. Oh my, oh my god, god. Johnny. That's so pretty. Oh my gosh. I extended it a little bit because I just want to be extra, but I followed most of it. A little bit uneven, but we move. We like it. Dude, can I just say I love your TikTok videos? <laughs> no I way. Love Thank them. you so much. Yeah, and your hair is like such an amazing colour. I literally I love, love it. everything you do. I love it all. Oh, thank amazing. you so much. <laughs> oh my god, I love this. I love this. <laughs> Oh, guys, oh my god, I love, I love your TikTok, I love your TikTok, I love this. We're like chalk of girls right now, it's like yeah. all different colours. Oh my gosh, and the pink, the pink as well. <laughs> right, so let's get Elle on as well, because I think those, you three together, <laughs> are going to be a pretty impressive lineup. No, I don't know what's wrong with my video, it's, it's saying the same thing again. Have a look now, you should be fine. There we go. All right, yeah, that should be Oh my fine. god, what a lineup. Uh, the pop of girls <laughs> <laughs> so cute everyone's looks so good yeah did you um girls did you enjoy the tutorial did you find it pretty easy to to recreate yeah i thought it was really easy to like follow step by step and i like how you can like even just something as simple as changing the color really makes it like your own twist on it kind of thing yeah 100 percent um, I loved it as well. I feel like you could just really go to town with it because you can be as simple as you want and you can also go all out. But yeah, definitely had to stick to the blue, didn't I? Oh, yeah. Thanks so much, guys. Oh, well, thank you so much, girls. Thank you for coming on and sharing your final look as well. Really appreciate it. Um, you look stunning. So thank you. Thank yeah, you I so love them so much. much. <laughs> thank you, guys. Uh, um, so just to say, we are now going to announce what the big prize is, okay? So don't forget, for those of you that have just joined or for those of you that missed it, there is a prize that we are gonna give away. And the cutoff for this is tomorrow at 8 p.m. And basically all you've got to do is share your look using um, tagging Abby and tagging Look Fantastic. And the hashtag is LFXAbby, okay? You've got to enter by tomorrow night at 8 p.m. when the judging takes place. And you could win £500 worth of Anastasia Beverly Hills. Oh, my God. Dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Like, teenage Abby would, like, freak out about that if I was, like, still in high school. Like, I love Anastasia so much. Yeah. Yeah. So, just to say, it's tomorrow... Um, 8 p.m. BST time, just because I know that we've got um, amazingly got loads of people from all around the world. Um, yeah, so just to say, all of this was in aid of celebrating you, Abby, and your talent, um, and also encouraging students to sign up to not as a student look fantastic. You can sign up and get immediate. Um, discounts and offers but also to be a student ambassador so you basically get you get your own little fancy code that you can share you also get first dibs on beauty products and you can get commission so you can get paid for the content that you make um so it's pretty good um and like mm -hmm. me and Abby both said we we would love something like that um because I mean why not it's no brainer really in it and the link is in really? the comments yeah, I mean, who doesn't want a little discount? And I mean, I hope everyone enjoyed following along. Um, again, please tag me if you like did. Um, love seeing everyone's recreations. And yeah, um, if you enjoyed 
make sure to pick up some of the products I use um if you like the look of any I would say like my favorites have to be this like NYX eyeliner like it's absolutely my go-to I would say if you had to pick up one thing from this tutorial like this is the one right here yeah. amazing well there's loads of beautiful comments coming in thank you so much queen you're an inspiration <laughs> amazing and I just want to say one last time on behalf of everyone at look fantastic Abby thank you so so much for this evening oh thank and you James and thank you guys Thanks, right, amazing <laughs> oh God. and then um, thank you for the backdrop for not falling down and causing an injury and, uh, not not yet <laughs> not yet hallelujah you made it. <laughs> amazing well thank you guys everyone for joining and thank you Abby again and don't forget tomorrow night 8 p.m bst is your final time to enter the giveaway for £500 worth of Anastasia Beverly Hills. Amazing. Thank you guys so much.